Let's begin from the box contents and the appearance. And within the box contents of 804 XS Country Terminal, we have this pack, well, this regular pack with a details and eight parts. And we have a quick start guide. We have a mounting template sticker, a firmware CD, and of course, a screws and, a, and the screwdriver. And, well, yeah, and, and anchors, of course. And here's the exact device. It has also a metal bracket here. Oh, stuck in here. And a bunch of communication tails, well, along with the uh, power supply and RS-485. So the exact device is actually plastic. And beginning from top, we have here a 2.4 inch 3 20 by 240 LCD screen to display a time, date, and also the authentication results. Below it, we see a standard 1 to 0 keypad with the escape, OK, and the direction buttons, a doorbell chime button, and a fingerprint reader module. And also, this panel is also capable of reading a cut. And under the cover on the side, we have a USB input, reset button, and a speaker on the opposite side. The back of the device fits in a tamper button. Here we have the internet cable input, RS-485, dialog terminal, here is it, and L 20 volt power supply interface. And uh, as there's no any power supply unit in the box, uh, it's meaning like you have to get one more additionally or connected to a power source you already have, like a mechanical Chinese one if you got some. Uh, so what can I tell about a device? The S-K1A804 represents an access control, both with the attendance functionality. Different users are having unique identifiers, and we're always able to view an events log and be aware of which user have used a terminal and in which time he did, actually. So this one is standalone, and it does not require any additional appliances. Right here, right on the spot, we can make all the settings and input all the users and all their details. And so the key feature here is the authentication via a fingerprint, via a card, and via a code. And the numbers are quite great, which is 3000 users maximum. And to every single of them, you can assign a card, a passcode, and a fingerprint, and the amount of 10 for every single person and the event storing capacity reaches up to 100,000 records and 150,000 attendance records for this thing. And well, of course, we can uh, fill a database remotely or right here directly via this terminal. And that data with a card and attendance information can be exported via the USB. Yeah, we got an input in here. And also this terminal can be connected to third-party bells and alarm sensors, to doors and locks and etc. There's a lot of stuff. And uh, now let's start it up. Activate and add a few users and a company. And here's my elementary scheme. So you see here is a 12 volt power adapter plus a connector I got in here, plus a uh, power wire from the box that I take from here, plus the alien cable. Here it comes from this. And as you can see, it is turned on. So alien, power, and other stuff. And now we're gonna switch the computer to activate it via manufacturer software, which is a CADP tool and the IVMS software. And be sure to have those before proceeding to a next part. And so here we are in from the computer and now we're gonna activate the terminal we have. And thus we need the activation software, which is the first is the CADP tool and here we go for it. And as you can see, DS-K1T804MF dash one here is inactive and the first step we're going to activate it so we check here and create a password and i'm doing it too i'm gonna do that too and pressing deactivate okay we got the error and i know what is this this is actually well, honestly a very common mistake for equation and so we're gonna go to the network settings into the adapter options is this one here and now you see I'm connected to a Wi-Fi name studio. So I'm going to properties and, and I'm connected to the IPv4. So what I do, I go for the manual se settings. And as you can see, IPv4 address here of this panel is a Hikvision standard, which is a 192.0.0.6.4. So I put it right in here with a one exclusion. Let it be a one or two, but any, I mean, any number 
up to 255, but not a 64 because in that case we'll get a conflict. So as we do, and we activate a subnet mask, and we press in OK, and OK again, and now we'll get this identified network. But if we'll get back to the CDP and we still can see a panel, meaning we are in the right way. So we check here again and input in the password one more time and press in the activate. And so the device is activated. Now you can see this, a very common mistake. The equation are not telling about this, but well, at least you know from here, which is just great. All right, so uh, the device is activated. Let's refresh and I'll show you the status has changed to active, which is great. And now I gotta, um, well, input here my IP address so I can use the internet actually because I kind of uh, don't have any internet access at the moment because I'm in this subnet. So I'm doing a uh, 129.168.1 and let it be and let it be like I mean any number let it be this and uh, the same for here except it's gonna be one one and uh, doing this and yeah you gotta do this too actually and of course check the enable hit connect and now I'm checking again pressing the modify and everything should be just fine so it may say you got an error but anyway it did update it so if we refresh if we check here, you see the address we have inputted. So everything, everything is just okay. And that's why we are uh, switching our settings back, which is the uh, dynamic IP and okay. And okay, one more time identifying and I'm getting a dynamic studio Wi-Fi, which is just great. And now we're gonna head to the uh, IBMS software. After we have done this, well, we can we can go for a second time and just uh, and check here. Yeah, no fresh. Yeah, everything's just great. And I'm gonna add this into the our uh, IBMS. So we grab it and put it in here. In name, I a terminal and uh, username admin is default and the password uh, we have just created. And so you see the address is the one that I can put. And of course, it's gonna be waste time. Pressing add button. Wait a few seconds and it should be just fine. I hope. Oh yeah, device time synchronized. And now you see it's pretty strong. Net status, it is online. And I got all the device information. So yeah, it's just great. After we've added uh, this whole thing inside of the device management tab, we're going to the access control because this is what we have to do. And first thing here, this is the first tab a company, a person, a card, and other stuff. And, and so what we do, we add a company, organization, which is a people systems, you know where we are. And okay. And yeah, this is great. And now I add a person. And so that would be me. Person number is one. Name is Daniel, phone number. I don't care right now. Uh, here, all right, there's a really old guy. And uh, now we're gonna add a card. So I here have a Mifair card, and I'm now gonna in, uh, well press hold near the reader that the device has. I uh, well I, honestly, technically, I cannot show you this right now, but I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate you the whole principle in the end of this video. And so we add a card. So yeah, the success control, and we pick this entrance card reader one and. Uh, press read and now I'm pressing the card on the terminal Please authenticate again. and here we are stop reading even though it's it, it did it, it gave us error but we got our card read red yes there we go uh, have a card now I'm gonna uh, have a fingerprint collected so remote collected select a device the only one I have in here and selecting a finger place your finger it tells me to press my finger and that's what I do, and doing it one more time. Failed. And it's failed. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm gonna try again because maybe because my finger something runs something is wrong with my finger. Place uh, okay. Your finger. Doing it again. Place your finger again. Did it? Great. Successful register retire. Successful! Yeah! 
recent stuff and right got all i need after i got the finger paint i go into the card back and i'm gonna link a finger paint to a card and press ok ah, and also i'm gonna input a card password which will be one 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 four times one okay which is okay and uh now press ok and everything regarding that person uh was see it was collected, it was saved on a memory. Now I'm gonna uh, make a few rules. So I gotta, uh, well, create some permissions in here. So let it be a entrance, yeah? Uh, let's imagine this is a entrance door, yeah? A main, main building entrance, right. And here I got a company, inside this have people. I have a uh, device, that's what I do now. Check in here and press OK. And now all that data will be loaded into a memory of a terminal we have. And now we close, and now we can actually get in by scanning the, a card and putting a, our finger. So, let me try. Please authenticate again. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh yeah, confirmed. It was a fingerprint. Thank you. And that was a card. Now I'm gonna show you right in the end, right in the end. But here's how it's actually happening. And so yeah, here you can uh, add in multiple organizations, in multiple devices, multiple users, and create a different uh, authentication ways for them. Like there should be some attendance rule. Uh, also, yeah, there's the time and attendance. And this is what we can do here. And also, uh, yeah already have the permissions. Here's the details, the credentials, and just just okay, just okay, everything's just all right. Here's, by the way, uh, the schedules. Here's the settings. Oh, yeah, got nothing. Yes, and that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a few new rules so I can, uh-huh, so I can get in by a, there we go. So I can get in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And here we are. Everything's just ready. So here's here's how it happens. If you got any questions left, well, write write down in the comment section. And now let me demonstrate you how just that works. And here's the Mayfair card I have, and here's the finger I have. And here's actually that user up three. Remember Daniel of the 79. 89 uh, born year, which is, <laughs> and uh, this is how it happens. Thank you put you. in here, thank you, confirmed. Thank you. And my fingerprint too. And well, like, this is it. Now let's sum up all this thing.